and this afternoon we're going to have a go at making some bubbles and we're going to make our own bubble solution and we're going to try to make a bubble within a bubble. So to do this I have here some warm water from the tap. You could do this in a cup, um, a mug or anything. So um, fill the mug up probably to about two fingers lower than the top level of the mug. We don't have to be too precise with this solution. One spoonful of sugar, and that is a tablespoon, another tablespoon of sugar, give it a stir. And hopefully we'll see the sugar granules dissolve away in the warm water. So you can see there that our sugar has dissolved into our water. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to add a tablespoon of washing up liquid. And then we're going to mix the washing up liquid in. Give it a good stir. And the next thing we're going to do is try and blow some bubbles. So I'm putting my hand into this bubble solution and I'm going to wipe the bubble solution onto the surface of the table. This helps to create a surface which is quite smooth so there are no imperfections because of the bubble surface creating a layer over the top of the table. Okay, now <clears throat> you can do this a number of ways. If you have a straw at home, you can use a straw. Um, I have a pipette here, which I've cut the end off of, and I'll use this to, to blow my first bubble. Now, what I would remind you to remind children is they're meant to blow and not suck because they don't want a mouthful of washing up liquid and sugar and water because that's quite horrid. So let's have a go. I'm going to try and see if I can put a bubble inside the bubble. And hopefully you can see that I have two bubbles. I'm going to try and get another one in. Outer one just burst, but I put another one in there. So, and there you go. A bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble. So we can take this bubble experiment a little bit further and make it even more fun. Um, so if you have a, a kind of fleece jumper or even a wool jumper, they work quite well. The same solution that you used for your bubble inside a bubble, you can blow a bubble and try to juggle the bubble. There we go, bubble inside a bubble inside a bubble. <laughs>